Rover View, and this is a uh, Brotato modded. In this mod modded episode, I'm going to be playing as the Mage, and I'm going to be using summoning weapons. Summoning weapons are a special type of weapon in this new mod. I'm not really sure what they do, but it looks to me like you use familiars to defeat enemies. For some reason, they don't spawn on their own and do their own damage, but it's alright, I guess. I'll take as many as I can, just so I can showcase. I'll take as many as I can, just so I can showcase the special type of summons. I'm, I'm sure there's a few of them, so I'll showcase as many as possible. If you've never seen Brotato before, then please consider subscribing and playing the game. It doesn't cost much, and if you enjoy Brotato content or roguelike and roguelike content, then please hit the subscribe button. It's what I do. And I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy this video. And if you have played Brotato before, you can go to the the Discord mod for Brotato and it'll show you how to download mods on it. Also, if you don't know what this game is at all, you fight waves, and after every wave, you spend the money you gather on enemies, I mean, on items and weapons, and you just keep going until you get to wave, um, what wave? Wave 20, I believe. I'm kind of thinking I should go with the Necro Raccoon, since it gives me one elemental damage for every 20 enemies you kill. And that's just broken. So I'm, I'm just gonna go with that, to be honest. I mean, how, how could you not go with that? Just hoping to actually get it. There we go. Now that's just gonna increase my damage exponentially. Which is perfect. It does seem to have some AoE and piercing damage as well. Which is exactly what I want. It's so strong too, it's just starting off really strong. I wanted to do the mage simply because the mage relies a lot on elemental damage, so why not use summoning summons which are purely elemental damage? All of them are, I believe. Okay. Took a little damage there. That's okay. Um more luck, always good. More pickup range, another necro raccoon. Um Another Necro Raccoon. Take as many of those as I can get. Hmm. All I have to do is keep keep using this and I'll gain a tremendous amount of damage. Okay. I do take a lot of damage though, so I have to be careful. They gained one elemental damage, now it's always using 26. So every single time 20 enemies die, my damage goes up by one. Which is crazy. That's just insane. Because I can get damage multipliers on top of that, which will make my damage even crazier. All I have to do is make sure that I do not die. That is the only thing I have to worry about. 10% hmm. lifesteal and 8 elemental damage. That's, that's insane. Take another raccoon. More raccoons, the better. They have extremely low attack speed, which is an issue. So I'll definitely have to get some more attack speed to speed that up. But regardless, they're doing really well. Hmm. 28, and the the blue one is doing 35. And the glowing indicates the level of the weapon. Blue is rare, and then purple is epic, and then red is heroic. Heroic is the last one. Regardless, they're doing crazy amount of damage, and the damage is increasing so quickly. I already have 30 elemental damage. I'll get more range. I'll get, actually I'll get gentle alien first, and then another one of those. I'll get I'll get this next time. 
honestly, let me also get the plague mask because that's going to be fifteen percent life steal, and that's just good. That's just a why not type of situation. Okay, they're dealing with it pretty well. Tax beat is not an issue yet. Hmm. Okay, got to create. Crates are amazing because they give you weapons at the end of the round, or or items. I mean, for free. That's just great. Okay. Now it's up to 34 damage. 35. What this also does is this increases the the fire damage that I do. And it ticks like three times, so it's essentially doing three times the amount of damage that it shows for the fire at least. Okay. Okay, that's three crates, three free items. Damage lifesteal. Sure. XP gain, sure. The coupon, definitely. More luck, yep. Harvesting, why not? Okay, there we go, there we go. Hmm. More enemies and alien time. Radius and enemies, perfect combo. More enemies, because I just want more money, so just get as many enemies as possible. pretty well down. Still have 12 waves left to get this damage to an insane degree, which I'll try to do and most likely succeed, because wave 8 already doing this much damage. That's just crazy. There's another crate. Two crates. That's amazing. 300, almost 300 money. Uh, not quite. So close. Tyler, oh no thanks. Sure. Attack speed, there we go. Okay, combine this. There we go. There we go, lifesteal, more enemies. More enemies the better. No thanks. Okay, none of those are good, so let's keep going. I'm glad I got more enemies, though. More enemies, the better. More money I get. They're getting very close to hitting me, though. And they hit me. That's okay. I'm doing fine. Okay. This is a great wave because a bunch of enemies spawn this wave, meaning I'm going to get a bunch of money, more damage, and possibly some crates. Because the amount it's gone up is pretty crazy. I'm doing like 59 damage each with this, and that's just crazy. I do hope to get, I do hope to get wisdom, and what wisdom does is in it increases your damage by 1% every second, which is just crazy. So that solves my damage issue. Okay, elemental damage, sure, actually. Crit chance, why not, actually? Take some crit chance. Okay. I guess I'm gonna get some crit chance then. Um, no thanks. No thanks. More pickup range. Always good. Take more life steal. What this means exactly is I have a 25%, I mean 27% chance to heal for 1 HP. And that's just good. I'll take more max HP, I mean speed. I'll take another necro. I'll take ignore another tree. Okay. More trees the better. More trees means more crates. More crates means more items. Another crate, there we go. Just like I was saying. Crates are beautiful. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Damage is going crazy. Still not enough to one-shot the big guys, but that's okay. It's 
pretty good for now. The lifesteal is really good. It's working out really well for me right now. Which is surprising because usually I go for just flat HP regen instead of lifesteal just because it just feels easier. But this is going pretty well with lifesteal. Okay, I'll take... No thanks. More range, sure. Take another one. And another one. Now I have all twos. Take this to make one of three. Actually, I'll take that. That's absolutely terrible. This I will take though. 3% damage increase every round. That's amazing. Also, I have 100 elemental damage right now, which is just crazy. That's just crazy. Hmm. Oh, another crate. And I already have so much money. not getting overwhelmed at all which is great I'm handling things pretty well also my um, purple guy is doing a hundred damage per shot which is crazy all the blue ones are doing 76 which is okay I don't mind that but I want to be doing more damage obviously That went from, I essentially gained 11 damage that round, which is crazy. I don't think I need any more elemental damage. More attack speed, there it is. Another one, that's crazy. And I'll take this to attack speed, crit chance, and range. Exactly what I'm looking for. All of those stats I like. Okay, now I have three purples and three, three blues. It's perfect. Okay. I'm doing 77 and 81 damage, which is odd. Because the difference used to be a lot more. I was also doing hundreds of damage, so I'm not really sure where that went, but it's okay. I'm sure I'll get it back up there. Hmm, there's the damage. Doing 118 damage. Not sure where it came from, but I'm doing it. That's what matters. Hmm. This this weapon is already so broken. More crit chance, another one of those. 10 attack speed, 8 crit chance in range, and even more lifesteal. That's just amazing. Perfect run. Oh wow, now they're doing 94 each shot. And the purple, the, the, the blues are doing 89, which is fine, but it's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Okay, damage is increased again. Okay, even more damage increase. That's almost at 100. So close. It's at 98 now. There it is, 101. And then 2. Finally reached 100, which is okay. It's okay. Hmm. Not the most money gained, but it's okay. I'll take a nose. I'll take. 
Let's, uh, I guess I'll take another ring. Let's take another one of these. Okay, 15% life steal. That's crazy. More life steal on top of my life steal. That's just ludicrous. Regardless, I'm doing over 100 damage every single shot, so I'm glad. Really glad that's happening. Hmm. Please comment below if there are any mods you want me to check out or any games you'd like me to play. I'll do whatever I can. Wave 14 is not that bad. I'm taking a bit of damage, which is not good, but it's okay. I'm handling myself pretty well. Okay, 380, not bad. Damage has gone up to 168. Okay, I'll take some luck. I'll take some lifesteal. Actually, I'll take another one. Just because the more the more fire damage I can do, the better. Okay, now I have all purples. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Hmm. Okay, 15. Five more rounds to go. Already doing tons of damage. 132 per shot. damage is going up so quickly hmm. okay that's one crate and the damage is going up so much longer the rounds the better more time to boost my damage so I'm hoping for a lot of long rounds before I get to the final boss so once I do get to the final boss, I'm I might get one shot, or just instantly die, because that happens quite a lot. I'll take more burning spreads, sure. I'm not sure if I clicked that or oh, it gave me two in a row. Okay. Burning now spreads to two enemies. Okay. Three enemies. Okay. Four enemies. Sorry. Five enemies. Um, take some harvesting, I guess. If this works, then this is just crazy. If that's actually how it works. And it looks like it is how it works. And that's just amazing. Because <laughs> my burn damage, that's doing a lot more damage than my actual damage. My burn damage is doing 277, while my normal attacks are doing 147. Which just means the more burn chance I can get, the better. So getting a getting two more sausages won't be too bad, because that's just that'll just mean I have a hundred percent chance to burn, and it'll spread to five other enemies. And five is crazy. I've never gotten more than one of those before. Getting five is just amazing. Um, no thank you. Sure. I'll take some luck. Yeah, that's not very good. That's not worth it either. Sure, sure. I'll definitely take that. The damage difference is not much just six damage difference huh. as a 30 percent chance everything has a 30 percent chance to do a critical hit though hmm. this shoots every 0.7 seconds increased range same lifesteal everything is the same but the damage is so higher 
not much of a damage increase, but that's pretty crazy. 161 is an insane amount of money. I mean, damage. And that crit is just making everything better. 30% chance that the damage is increased. That's just amazing. Just gaining so much damage. I only have three more rounds left, but I'm sure I can hit more than 200 damage by then. That's my hope, at least. That's what I'm aiming for. And I'm most likely going to get it, because it just makes sense. Actually, no, I'm, I'm aiming for two si 250. I'll see if I can get it. Take that. Take more luck. What is this? 100% attack speed while standing still. One max HP for every 1% speed you have. 30% attack speed minus. One HP regen for every 10 attack speed you have. Um, I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not. Probably not. I'm probably going to die now. But, yeah, I'm okay with that. I guess. How much is my attack speed? 137. Okay, my attack speed is crazy now, but, like, I can't move. Otherwise, my attack speed is going to die. I think it also adds some other penalties to it, which I didn't like. Hmm. Regardless, it's not bad. I just need some more ways to regenerate health. And a lot more speed to actually be able to dodge the boss. So, a few more things, I guess. I'm, I'm getting a lot of crates, though. And damage has almost reached more than 200. I mean, it's almost reached 200. Oh. I reached 200. Okay. Let's just hope I can get to round. There we go. Wisdom is exactly what I was looking for. Ah, uh, I don't need that. Take some attack speed. Take more enemies. Uh, no thanks. Hmm. This is my last, last round before I have to fight the final boss. So let's hope I get some increased damage here. Okay. The wisdom is really doing something. It's making a big difference. Hmm. Every second I'm getting damage increase, and every 20 kills I'm also getting a damage increase, so... I'm just getting so much damage. Plus the fire is doing so much damage. I, I believe it's doing the most damage, and it's doing way more damage than these... than the raccoons. That's okay. The raccoons are really helping out with the damage increases. Okay. Everything is dead. That's a lot of crates. No. 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 Yes. Okay. I need some speed. Speed, please. There we go. Um, all of this is just bad. Oh, all of that was just bad. But this is the, this is the easier boss, I, I would say. Maybe not for some people, but for me, I think this boss is easier. 
Okay, wow. That wasn't a challenge at all. I won. Well, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I somehow won that. Um, thanks for watching.